All right, so I'm sure most of you guys know about the other JoJo Roblox games like a uh, Universal Time or a Bizarre Day, but for today in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys and showing you guys another one that's actually in development as we speak. Anyways, the new game that I'm going to be talking to you about is called Awakened Day. The devs on this game are working on it like so much right now, and it's going to be actually a very realistic type JoJo game. From scratch, they're making their own stands, they're making their own items, everything, because... They are not taking any models from a bizarre day like the other games are and all that type of stuff. As of right now, the game's not available for testing yet, like you can't join it yet. But it's in development right now, but when it becomes in testing, I'll make sure that I'll try and show you guys everything that I'm able to show you. Anyway, as of right now, we only have sneak peeks, but these sneak peeks are some crazy pictures, like I kid you not. Like for example, here's Star Platinum, I mean just look at him, look at how defined his abs are. Like, tell me you don't really see a 3D model, like, as detailed as this often, or if at all. From this angle, I'm not sure if the face is 3D or not, but considering, like, his eyes are glowing, and you, like, it just looks very detailed, and it's something that I really like. And then we can look at this cars right here as well, like, just, have you seen a JoJo game where instead of you just being cars with, like, just the knives, but you're actually cars himself? Well, I don't know if he's gonna be a boss, or if he's going to be, like, a stand or anything like that, but I mean, just look at him, bro. Like, his hair is so defined. Like, I knew cars had cool hair, but in jo or in Roblox, they just make his hair look amazing in this game. And then you have his knives and everything. Like, they you got the whole bundle right here. And from behind, on this uh, Star Platinum model, you can see just how intricate, like, the details are and the curves and everything in there. And, like, just look at those, those luscious locks, bro. That hair. And even the gloves are three-dimensional. You can literally see, like, the little gold beads on it. Like, you don't see stuff like this often. And, like, these are just sneak peeks. Like, these are, like, the basic models for all these things. Because when they get animated, when they get their abilities and everything, these things are going to be freaking amazing. Trust me. Also, here's another picture. Like, here's the front of the Star Platinum model that I just showed. Oh, my goodness. Look at those shoulder pads. Like, if I were to ever play a JoJo game, like, this one. Oh, my goodness. Oh my, you can see the shine. You can see the shine. I don't, I never see shines. Like, I never see, like, reflective, uh, type things in JoJo games. You know this game is going to be good. Also, just, just look at these abs. Look at those abs on Dio. You know my man's been doing a few sit-ups because, oh my goodness, bro. And I'm guessing that this is going to be a boss because, you know, Dio's, like, always a boss in the JoJo games. But, you know, this JoJo game seems to be different. They're, they're just different breeds, so you never know what they could do. And right here, we can see the inside of the JoJo Mansion, which is... Wow, this actually looks a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Ooh, I actually want to go inside this house right now. It, it looks like there's like a basement in here. I, I don't even know. But the staircase, chandeliers. This whole place is looking cool. I wish I had a picture of the outside of it. Anyways, this is also part of the map, so... It seems a little small for now, but that's understandable considering like they're all in development and stuff. But this is just part of the map, so it's not even all of it. Bro, look at the water. It looks like I can actually drink it. Bro, hold up. That makes me thirsty. I already got some water. <sighs> That's some good agua. Also, here's like a, a point of view type camera angle with the... Uh, I believe this is inside the city. Because I see all the houses and stuff. I wonder if you can actually go inside these. The doors don't look like you can open them yet, but considering who we're dealing with, I wouldn't be surprised if they just took an idea and just made more mansions or something. I don't even know. Also, this is the Golden Experience Requiem model. I mean, oh, jeez. Bro, he just looks like he wants to hit me. Just look at that face. He just has the expression of the word no. Like, if I look at him in the eyes, I can know that I won't be able to sleep tight tonight. And, you know, we got that abs of gold. Because, you know, he's made of gold. Golden experience. Haha. -ha. Okay, I'm sorry. But anyways, bruh. Oh my goodness. I, I kind of wonder what the items on this game are going to be when it releases, bruh. But for now, we only have these. But hey, I'm not complaining. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. L just, l just, just take a good look at the world. He looks like he wants to own the world. Alright, of course, he has his abs made of steel. Looking fantastic. Bro, these details are actually tripping me off. I normally don't see hyper-realistic JoJo games like this, so it's just, it's just so neat. Anyways, I'm also wondering if it's going to be like uh, R13 models, is that what it is? But either way, like the, the animated Roblox models instead of this R6, like uh, some of the other games. Because if like they're fully animated with like R13, like they have, they have um, joints and stuff, like that would just be amazing. But just imagine that it's pitch black outside on the map, and then like you can see his eyes in the dark. You can just see him slowly approaching you. Imagine how terrifying that would be. 
And I believe this is uh, King Crimson Requiem, actually. Not only does he look like one of those giant samurai thingies, uh, I forgot what they were called. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say samurai thingies, but this guy looks like he wants to hit me super hard with the sword. If this guy can time erase, I'd probably be terrified because <laughs> if he could time erase on me, I, I might as well just let myself die. Which, as I was saying like a, uh, like a moment ago, if these are fully animated, this would be amazing. And here's Silver Chariot right here. Um, I barely ever get to see these in an actual game, like um, a universal time, because they only have Silver Chariot Requiem. So it's actually pretty refreshing as well to see Silver Chariot. So I believe this is the mode where he takes off like all of his armor to make him like more agile or something. But like when you put all of his armor on, he looks like this, which is pretty cool because I know he can be very tricky considering like he's li he's like a silver skeleton type thing. So it's really good to see that they actually paid attention to these details. Speaking of Silver Cherry, here's the Silver Cherry Rick Real model right here. And all I can say is this is spicy. If you look right here, he even has his own face model. And I, I, I don't think I've ever seen someone pay that much attention towards uh, Silver Chariot's face. He literally has a nose, he has, a, he has eyes, and when it's rendered, it looks like this, which is... I want to be Silver Chariot. That, that's all I can really say. I can just imagine myself looking so cool walking down the road looking like this. Up until somebody with uh, the world stops time and beats the living crap out of me, that is. Also, we have D4C. And this is just the head, but there's there's more of the body I'll show you in a moment. But just, just look at this. This alone is a really cool sneak peek. Just from this head alone, you can just say, okay, well, yeah, I'm going to play this game when it gets released. Because, because if you weren't already thinking about that, then you definitely should because this game is amazing. Anyways, here's a little more of the body of D4C. And just right off the bat, you can tell, like, they're trying to take it slow and steady, like, the game might take quite a bit of time to get released just for testing, but I mean, can you blame them? If they're making stuff like this, I, in fact, I'd even pay them if I could. Anyways, without the shadows on, this is exactly what he looks like. It looks like he has shoes almost, actually. But this is exactly what I think D4C would look like. Hey, what am I talking about? This is exactly what D4C looks like. Anyways, here we have Killer Queen, which is automatically looking like a hot spot. Oh my goodness. With glowing eyes like that, I can already tell that the character is going to be dangerous. I just have a feeling like they're going to teleport behind me and just break my neck or something. But I'm glad to see that a game is actually implementing Killer Queen because in games like A Universal Time, he got deleted. So it was actually refreshing to see him. And also, here's a version of it which I have actually never seen in an actual game before. I remember this because it was like that one cat flower thingy that uh, Kira killed and then he planted it. I, I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, this plant can like blow stuff up with bubbles or something like that. I don't really remember it too much, but that's that's what I believe happened. But it's kind of odd to see him in the an actual game, so I'm kind of curious as to see what he's going to what he's going to do. All right, I bet you've never seen this in a JoJo game before, and if you have, well, too bad. If you don't remember, this is that one stand that that baby had, that really annoying baby that nobody liked. But yeah, this stand's uh, ability is just like he can go into someone's dreams and he could like kill them in their dreams or whatnot. But I've never seen this in an actual JoJo game, personally. But I'm actually very curious as to see what he'll be able to do in a game. Because, can I, like, it, will he put me to sleep? And he'll go into my dream? Wait, what? And here's some thumbnails that they also had for the game. So, that right there is the King Crimson Requiem that I showed you guys earlier. There's another one. And also, here's one. And you can tell because that's Dopio or Diavolo, Diablo, whatever you want to call him. And there's our boy. And last for this video, we actually have Iggy Stand, which is the fool. Iggy Stand has something to do with sand. But yeah, yeah um, I wonder if Iggy's gonna be a character if uh, in any way. But anyways, the, the fool is very interesting because I know he has something to do with sand. And I'm just curious to see what he's going to be useful for in the game. But it's really good to see that they're actually adding a lot of stands that people kind of forgot about. Or just don't even think about in general. And the fact that they're spending all their time and effort trying to make this game and make such detailed stands and trying to make the game like a really cool place is really cool to hear but in my opinion i really think that you guys should check it out I ha i'll have the discord link for the the game in the description and i really think that you guys should try and help and support this game because if i were you i really wouldn't want to put all the devs effort into this game to waste because i can only imagine how much time that they spent on these and they could have spent that doing anything else with their lives so if you at all want to check out this game go ahead link for the the discourse in the description Make sure you check it out, and if you want, there's also a sneak peek tab in case you guys want to go and check out some more of the stuff yourself. So hopefully I persuaded quite a bit of you guys to go ahead and check out the game. It'd be really nice if you guys were to support and help with the creation of this game, so that'd be really cool. 
Anyways, this is about the end of the video, and I hope I was able to persuade quite a bit of you guys to uh, check out the game. With that said, I will see you all in the next video, so adios. Let's go, come on.